The Destiny community is outraged at Bungie for making this decision, and the reason why is because we have gotten our first Iron Banner of Season 23, and with it came the legacy Iron Banner sets that Destiny 2 players have so desperately wanted for a very long time now. These sets are from years ago, so a good majority of players right now don't actually have them unlocked, and some of them look really good, so players got excited when Bungie announced that they would be returning in Season 23 Iron Banner. Fast forward to today, the first day of Iron Banner, Banner, and you'll notice that when you unlock the ornament, that doesn't actually give you the ornament as it should. Instead, once you've unlocked each ornament for each set, 10 in total, you then have to use synth weave so that you can transmog the set. And that is exactly what has everyone upset. Why do we have to go through the effort of unlocking the ornament and transmogging it? And you might think to yourself, well, that just seems petty. That's how the transmog system works. But that's not entirely true. Usually when you unlock an ornament, you're allowed to put it on that armor piece. Like if you went into Eververse right now and bought an ornament, you would instantly be able to put it on any given armor piece. You wouldn't need to use synth weave after purchasing that ornament. So it seems very non nonsensical to have to unlock the ornament and then apply the synth weave template. And not only is it nonsensical, it's also lucrative for Bungie because if you go to the Eververse store right now, you'll notice that you can buy the synth weave templates. They're right there front and center in the front page and they're obviously quite expensive. And you might think to yourself, well, Lucky, you actually do get these for free if you go do the eight one bounties. And that is true, but you get at maximum 10 per season, which will only allow you to unlock two full armor sets. And at this point in time in the season right now, we've received the new new dungeon armor set and two new iron banner sets, which means that if you wanted to unlock all three new armor sets for the season, you would have to fork over some cash in Eververse. Cha-ching! Bungie right now, cha-ching! <laughs> which also brings up an even bigger problem, which is the fact that this season is going to be seven months long, so only getting 10 of those synth weave templates feels extra painful. If Bungie's going to extend the season, they might as well give us an extension on how many synth weave we can earn within that season. That way, at least we can transmog all of the sets that we get. This issue, however, has been a compound issue for a long period of time. I've posted about it publicly, saying that Bungie should just make transmog completely free. I understand why they don't, but it just comes across very greedy in an already highly over monetized game. But let me know your thoughts about this situation down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video here, click on the screen to watch another one from this channel. And if you're feeling thirsty out there, make sure to use code Lucky10P to save some money on G Fuel. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitch and Kick. I go live all the time playing Destiny 2. Lastly, make sure you're following me on X, Instagram, and TikTok where I deliver Destiny 2 news to you daily. I appreciate all the followers out there.